Uh, we've already moved our games from Friday, Saturday to Saturday, Sunday now. Um, we'll kind of see how much, if we do get snow, how much snow, all that kind of stuff. But the temperatures look a little bit better on Saturday, Sunday, as opposed to Friday, Saturday anyway. So. Uh, you know, I like our group. Um, I think we're deep um, in some premium positions and, uh, you know, that's always a good thing with COVID and injuries and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you saw it last year. I mean, if, um, you know, the regional championship game, I mean, I went back and looked at that. Uh, there was not one guy in the starting lineup that game and that regional championship game that started at that position opening day last year. So it just, you know, that stuff that we talk about is just being a, being adaptable. And it's something where, you know, we've got a lot of guys that can play different positions. And I think that's huge. Um, it really is. And we've got a deep roster. You have to have a deep roster these days, especially with COVID, because you never know. Um, you know, every weekend's a completely different weekend and you'll have different guys available. And our goal every, you know, as it was last year is to not cancel a game because of WT. And we were successful with that last year. And that's our goal again this year. We feel like with the 42, 43 guys that we've got on roster that we can go out and compete with anybody. And, um, you know, if we've got enough arms to go out and pitch, then we're going to go out and compete. Not really. Um, honestly, preseason stuff, as I say, every year is just it's preseason for a reason. Um, you know, that's off of a team for us last year that had a lot of seniors. I mean, we lost 90 percent of our innings um, from last year to this year. So we got a lot of new guys that have to go out and compete and show that uh, they know how to win one run ball games. That's what we preach to our guys is winning those games. And can they get outs when the pressure's on? Um, you know, I think that we can. Um, you know, I've liked what we've seen. We've tried to put them in situ pressure situations uh, this fall and early spring. So, and they've done a pretty good job there. So, hopefully, that'll continue. Having a lot of guys that play multiple positions is fairly rare for a baseball team. So, talk about the, you know, how that's going to help your longevity and staying healthy. Well, I hope it helps. I mean, it, it did last year. It really benefited us last year, and that's something we really started addressing last year. Listen, just because you think you're a catcher or whatever doesn't mean we're not going to try you at other positions. And I mean, you saw it last year with Kennedy Badgett. I mean, he's probably uh, the best catcher, I think, in the country, and we end up having to move him to first, and then we had another injury, and by the end of the year, he played third base for us, and he had never played third base a day in his life. And he did a really good job with it, you know? And so that's something that we started talking about last year with all the COVID and everything. Thing. We knew there was going to be weekends where we didn't have guys available, and we're kind of still doing the same thing, and I like that. Uh, listen, instead of being a baseball player and uh, saying you're a second baseman or a shortstop, be an athlete and say you can play multiple positions, and our guys have bought into that, and, I mean, you'll probably see a lot of the same thing. I mean, guys out of position some weekends and all that kind of stuff, but at the end of the day, we don't want any excuses, and we're going to find ways to win ball games.